let's talk about uh, positional variables in shell scripts. Uh, it, it's easy to write a shell script where we just hard code all of our values or even one where we read stuff in from another file. But for a lot of things, we just want to be able to hand the information in. So we can do that pretty trivially. Uh, I've set up a shell script here. I've called it Mary. And it's a little arbitrary. We just say Mary had a little something. Its fleece was something as something. So this will be the first variable we pass in. This will be the second. This will be the third. And we can keep passing um, arguments in to these variables um, uh, until we run out of space on the line. We can do 10, 20, 30, and they're all space separated. So to run this, I'm going to say Mary had a little lamb. Uh, let's see, the animal is a lamb. Its fleece was grayish. Uh, and uh, what's gray in the winter in Minnesota? Snurt, uh, the wonderful combination of snow and dirt. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was grayish as snurt. Uh, we can change our arguments and we can say white and snow. And you can see that these words, I gave white here, this is the second position, and it fed right in there. So and I can also do this. Lamb, white, snow, velociraptor, green, grass. Huh. Well, I gave it more things, they just fell off the end. Because the code never references it, um, it just gets ignored. Now, probably I don't want that. I'm going to put a little error checking in. I'm going to give this script to somebody else, and I don't want them to get confused if they try unexpected things. Every shell script you write will be tried in unexpected ways, sometimes even by the author. So let's go and look at bettermary.bash, which I worked up quick so you wouldn't have to listen to me banging on my mechanical keyboard. Let's do this. All right. Again, we start with our shebang line. We're going to run under the born again shell. We have an echo statement. This is new. Dollar sign zero. Dollar sign zero always contains the name of the script as it was invoked. This can be useful for debugging. Honestly, it's the one I use the least. Now the next, I've got a simple test as we'd use in any shell script. I'm gonna see if the first argument is blank. If it's equal to not nothing, an empty string, then we're gonna print out an error message and we're gonna exit. This just terminates the script and sets the exit value. We're also going to look and see, hey, do we have a fourth argument? Because we should totally not have a fourth argument. If we do, we're going to complain we don't want to know that. We're going to exit. And if both of these are, if we get past this, in other words, we only have less than four arguments, and we definitely have a first argument, then we'll run. So let's try it and see what we get. Got to call the script with the right name. This one's called Better Mary. And we have an ankylosaurus that, let's see, it's fleece. Now we all know dinosaurs really had feathers, but I didn't want to alter the script. It's, it's just a dinosaur with fleece. Um, it probably kind of reddish tan as adobe mud. Ah, there we go. Ah, I see you believe the script is named dot better Mary Bash, and we fit this in. Why would I break put underscores in these words? Because if I don't, ah, oh, computers are dumb. They only know what we tell them. And one of the things that the shell knows is that arguments are separated by spaces. They're separated by white space, really, but in this case, spaces. So it's going to take this one 
as the first argument. This one is the second, third, fourth, fifth. But here where I put underscores, first argument, second argument goes all the way up to the next space. Third one goes up to the next space or the end of line. There you go. Positional arguments in shell scripts. Now you can write shell scripts that look just like full-blown Unix utilities, and you can do error checking to make sure you're getting reasonable arguments, uh, reasonable input. You should always validate that the stuff you're getting is what you expect and that you're not going to do something highly unpredictable. Thanks.